It's a lower class city. It's funny because I have multiple Phoenix tattoos. I got a bunch of tattoos too, man. I got a lot. Here, I'm going to see if y'all can see this one. This is a, this is solar system here. It's my leg right there. That is, that is the dark star ecliptic. That was our solar system represented geometrically with differential binary ecliptics. The slant you saw going down was it was the nemesis ecliptic. It's what Luna used to orbit on. It's, your, it's where Saturn's rings are lined up with. It's the reason why Earth is at 23.5 degrees obliquity. It's the reason why Phoenix goes north to south trajectory. It's the reason Nemesis X object can never be seen on the ecliptic because it doesn't travel on the ecliptic. It travels on the nemesis ecliptic. Very different than Sol's ecliptic. That's cross that's cross uh uh this is different. It's called differential binary ecliptics. And until astrophysicists in our own system actually begin to uh, entertain this, they're never gonna they're never gonna find these objects because all these multi million dollar and billion dollar telescopes are looking in the wrong directions because physicists have they I don't know if they believe it or not, but they tell the public that all the motion and antiquity in the stellosphere in the heavens is on the ecliptic because here's the sun. Here's the ecliptic in Earth, Mars, Venus, Jupiter, Neptune. Everybody, go, Everything goes around the sun. This is the heliocentric model, this bullshit that we've been fed. But in the simulacrum, everything mimics that. It looks like that in the sky. However, there's another ecliptic. It goes this way. This is where Phoenix, Nemesis X object, this is where the dark satellite, because way down there, is the frozen star called Nemesis. Cannot be seen with the naked eye because no light photons can escape from it because it's a black hole now. So, <coughs> it's the dark star. You can learn a lot, of, a lot about dark stars in, by, in Andy Lloyd's research. He wrote a book called The Dark Star and then he wrote a second book called Darker Stars. So, yeah, that's some, that's some fascinating stuff. Really